Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Dead Island. I am Dewey, bringing you through this walkthrough, and we are nearing the end. We are making our way to the prison now. Um, basically, what we need to do is uh, run a couple quests. Okay, hard to um, take a see, look. look, I looked in that safe again and found another couple thousand dollars. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to do a couple quests in order to help prepare um, the boat for the journey. Um, we need to collect some gas, and then we also need to... Um, what's the other thing we need to do? Gas and then rods. Um, so, uh, first we're going to do the gas one. I um, just need to fast travel to the boat. Um, Moen's boat, and I just needed to double check that here. Yeah, that's okay. So that is where I'm going, Moen's boat. Um, like I said, it'd be a lot easier if each of the fast travel locations were kind of, like, labeled. Maybe they are, and I'm just not noticing it. Um, but... Yeah, so tra fast travel to Moen's boat, and then you'll uh, just need to talk to Moen real quick. You saved my life for the second time, so I owe you one, yeah. Your friend wasn't lying. I do know the way to the prison. It's fucking dangerous, so I don't like to go. But if you want, I'll take you there. Before we go, though, we gotta stop in town and get some necessary things. Alright, so now we get to stop in town. Uh, I'm just gonna unload all of the uh, crap that I gave Jin here into uh, my inventory just so it makes it a little bit easier to craft different mods and that kind of stuff so um, generally you just want to put stuff in there that's really used for um, just you know weapons and that kind of stuff and I generally just keep all that on me or I sell it um, I think in multiplayer it may have a little bit more of a use in case you're like playing with someone and then you find an item but they're in like a different area so you can you know, start with gin just to uh, kind of make it a little easier for yourself um, down the road because you know you want to give it to your friend um, so I'm going to make a couple items here actually um, the reason I choose to do that is just because uh, they generally become a little bit more powerful and it's uh, it's nice to have them so um, then you can upgrade some of the items Make sure they're all repaired first. I had a, I had quite a bit of extra money, so why not? Why not upgrade them to their full maximum potential? So we get to go back to the city, my favorite. I still think out of all the areas, the city's probably just been the creepiest for me. Um, just the setups and the sounds and the whole atmosphere of it really has been the scariest, I guess, or just the, the just downright creepiest. Um, so. I'm curious what you guys thought has been the most Listen, previous friends, area. There are two things that need to be taken care of before we head out. First thing is gas for the boat. We won't get there on fumes. The second thing is something special for Titus, so he lets us through. Otherwise, we can forget about ever getting inside. So what's it gonna be? I'ma try. Okay then, you'll find a fuel at the gas station. If you can find a car while you're there, You'll get back a lot quicker. I keep the stash for Titus in the red container by the seaside hangars. Here's the key to the storage unit. I'm staying here. I'll watch the boat. Good luck. That's right. We need to find the key to the storage area. Um, or we don't need to find the key. We need to find the, the secret stash for Titus so he lets us in. So that, gas, and then some bars, some rods to fix up the boat. Um... All the way over there. They're gonna make me run all the way over there. Uh, it's quite. It's not too bad, I guess, distance-wise. Getting our there and back again, a hobbit's tail. Um, <laughs> uh, whatever you call it, achievement. I think those are called achievos. Um, so, uh, I guess the more walking you do, the more there and back again you'll get. Um, it's just every time I hear of that, that just reminds me of Lord of the Rings. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm not too focused on fighting every single last thing I see. Um, generally, the ones that are kind of either easy picks, easy kills, or just in my way. Now, there's going to be a giant edit here. Um, the reason is because there is a very long side quest that I went on there, and I did, I died a couple times, and um, it's just, it's something I chose to left out of the main walkthrough. Um, hopefully, I will show it later on when I do more of the side quests, so you, you'll have the potential to see that um so hopefully you guys can forgive me for that i'm, I'm asking a lot of forgiveness for this walkthrough um and you know that's i guess the way it has to be for now um don't worry you will see that at some point in time just not right now um 
so the uh, the storage case, I didn't actually know. I just assumed that it was up on the upper levels. Um, just because, hey, you know, who's going to keep their stuff on the lower levels? That'd make things easy. Um, so there is, a, I believe, a level 2 and a level 3 lock um, chest up here. Um, so if you guys have the third tier in the lock chest, unlike me, check out the, the posters there. Yeah, some hot random girl on the on the posters. Um, so yeah, if you can, uh, if you have the level three lock, then it, it might be uh, nice and easy for you. So now you've got the secret stash, we need to go get the gas. Now the gas is a little bit tricky because obviously they're two of these big uh, gas containers and the best way to do that, to get that, is find a car. Now lucky for us, there is a car at the gas station. So we don't really have to worry too much about finding random uh, assortments of, of vehicles. I already I ran myself till I was those damn tires. Just, I just want this chest, just, just let me see. Okay, nothing I'm interested in. Goodbye. <laughs> this is like random, like running along, and then all of a sudden you see a chest, like, eh, I'm gonna try to grab that chest real quick. Hi, zombies, how you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm gonna continue running here. So, some of you may recognize the area we've been. We have been here once or twice before. Um, so, here's all the gas station and all the gas things. And look at us, there's some rundown car nearby. Lucky us. Hopefully this will make it back to uh, um, where we need to be going. And here's the other one. Luckily we don't have to fill them up this time so we don't have to stick it. Ow. 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 Like zombies caught up with me. <laughs> Get in. Get in. Oh, well, wrong side. Zombies leave me alone. Zombies leave me alone. I'm just gonna drive away now. They did, they did some work to my car, but that's okay. I'm in a car, so I can drive faster than them. They can run. Um, unfortunately, it's a very crowded area. This, this is, and there's one of the chargers, so let's not uh, deal with him. I don't really... Ah, I can't see anything. God damn it. Window's broken. Okay, so you need to drive at a, at a, a good speed, so a fast speed, but you also need to drive at a speed in which you can make uh, somewhat sharp turns and split-second decisions. Because if you don't, then you're going to end up uh, breaking everything like I did. Um, I don't really know where exactly to go. I'm just following where it's telling me to go. I'm very, I'm in a very smoky position for this car. Navigate very carefully. I don't think I can go that way. Hi, get off my windshield, please. I need to see. Um, as you see, my car is about ready to get destroyed. So I figured I'll just park it somewhere and uh, unload. Actually, the, the place I end up parking it in is a pretty decent spot because what it does is it ends up blocking off the zombies um, from behind me. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of, I wedge myself in a good position here um, because I block off the zombies on the right over there from getting into me. So that's kind of nice. Get off me, son. Did I say you could hug me? I don't think so. And then you just kill the zombies on the side and you should be good. I hear another screamer coming after me. She's an ugly e she, she disappeared. The fuck? Where the fuck she go? Okay. Man, there's lots of ninja zombies in this later in these later levels. Um <laughs> like Die, disappear. Okay. Um, but yeah, the ones on the right there were blocked off from getting to me, so that's kind of nice because it allows me to load this um, boat with relative ease and uh, less zombie harassment. So that's pretty much all you need to do um, is just load the, load up, and that's going to be it. That's all we're going to see for this video. Next video we get to uh, go back to where Jin's father was shot, and uh, or not shot, where he you know got bitten. And then we get to uh, fix up the thing with some pipes, because pipes are nice. I think probably for like blocking mines out of the way or some some nonsense like that. Uh, 
so I, I want to thank you guys once again so much for being patient with this walkthrough. Uh, you guys have been asking for this for weeks, and I'm finally able to give you everything that I want at a comfortable pace for me and for you guys, even though I'm pumping right, these videos up every We're hour. almost there. One last thing. The water's getting choppy as hell. We get tossed around too much, we may hit one of those mines. And that's the end of the story, right? So we need to go to the workshop at the beach, make a few modifications. My father used to work on boats, so we just need to go to this workshop. Alright. Workshop time. So, thank you guys once again. Um, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't always. Find me on Facebook, searching Dewey. Go. It's a page. That I'm an it. entertainer, I think. Strong. Um, I appreciate everything, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.